marriages are made in heaven by god but broken on earth by us why and how let's try to understand by mr ajay sharma founder and managing director of abhinav immigrations good day everyone so today we are going to talk about one of the i would say uh, disturbing phenomena that is happening uh, uh, in our society uh, which is pretty different from the culture uh, as when when we really related to india and that is the divorce rate uh, that of late uh, has been going up if you see it from the perspective of uh, the percentage of population one would say maybe you know it's not too high uh, when you compare the western economies but overall uh, if we see it from the earlier generations the situation um, if not alarming definitely it needs a relook so interestingly we conducted a poll on linkedin uh, i conducted from my personal handle and uh, we gave uh, in the poll we gave four options uh, to uh, in the participants what could be the key reasons why the divorce rate is going up so we gave them four options uh one was uh, is it because the families are uh, going nuclear is it uh, because of uh, family uh, you know interference uh, is it uh, because of uh, financial independence and finally is it because of lack of patience uh, among couples and for us the most surprising discovery was that uh, and then and you know the poll was really Uh, heavily participated uh, over a 7 day uh, period uh, almost uh, 7700 uh, participants voted in the poll and the post uh, received close to more than 280000 views and uh, it was really trending and uh, interestingly uh, 53% of the voters uh, stated that uh, the key reason uh, for divorce is uh, lack of patience uh, uh, perhaps understanding each other amongst the couples the the, the other three factors uh, uh, when when taken together uh, uh, the second most uh, important factor people uh, the voters stated was uh, financial independence uh, perhaps of uh, women that's what they mean and uh, the, the the other two factors received uh, almost equal vote uh, whether it's financial whether it's family interference uh, or uh, nuclear families so clearly uh, something that's coming out as the main reason is uh, lack of patience lack of patience in what but you know uh, i am perhaps three generation four generation ahead of the current generation and uh, what 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 we were you know uh, when growing up uh, what we were told was uh, that okay if you're getting married you're getting married for good when you give the same uh, you know uh, formula or same statement to the current generation they said yes you know like why even we understand that we are getting married for good but if we are unhappy there is no reason to stay married for good which also makes sense but somewhere so many marriages can be saved uh, which are heading towards divorce if uh, couples understand and appreciate that getting to know each other takes time that getting married is indeed a responsibility to stick on with each other in uh, doesn't matter whatever the conditions are whatever the circumstances are and for the men for example to understand and appreciate that uh, uh, the financial independence that women are face when women are now enjoying uh, is a real thing and they should be able to accept it and not let the ego come between uh, Uh, the day to day marital issues somewhere also is the understanding and then you know so i i read one uh, article 
uh, we stated that you know the divorce situation, uh, divorce petitions went uh, increased in fact during the COVID phase, and uh, I also when, when I spoke to a uh, few uh, representative of the fairer sex on the matter, uh, I was informed you know what. Uh, for us, now it's a triple duty, not only to look after the work from home scenario as far as the office work is concerned, to also to look after the kids who are also studying from home, and along with that, also situation related to kitchen and the housekeeping, because in those days, even the housekeeping or the maids were not available. So what perhaps uh, men need to understand, men need to appreciate, is that somewhere along the line things have changed, circumstances have changed and uh, both the spouses, especially uh, when the families are nuclear, need to share the burden of uh, running the home uh, and not just uh, the women. So that perhaps can save many marriages. Uh, understanding among men about financial independence as well as sharing uh, part of the home burden. What can women do to save marriages? Appreciate and understand that, uh, you know, uh, the traveling is a real thing. Uh, and in fact, that's true for both men and women. That, that, that's another factor that's coming in that uh, the modern work style requires a lot of travel, domestic, international, and both the spouses are traveling at times. One is traveling. And uh, in the situation, kids are often suffering, especially when the families are nuclear. And also the, the, the physical distance often means social distance and at times, uh, you know, out of sight also means out of mind and situations like uh, extramarital affairs come into picture. So I guess another situation where couples need to really understand and appreciate and come together is an understanding that uh, the modern life and work style requires traveling and uh, have that faith and trust in each other uh, during the weather, the phase of traveling, whether at home or out of home. I think that that's another factor uh, that, that comes into uh, as far as success of marriages are concerned. What is the other factor around which uh, one can have patience? One can have, one needs a lot of patience uh, as far as uh, the kids are concerned. And uh, Having kids is the easiest thing, but uh, uh, the kids of today are more demanding, more uh, attention seeking, and in between the working couples, that often becomes a challenge. And division of responsibilities there also becomes an issue. So that's, that's another area perhaps uh, that creates uh, stress situations. Uh, the expectations from the marriage is another reason. Uh, there, there's a lot of exposure uh, among the younger generation. Then, when, when compared to the earlier generations, there's a lot of exposure that uh, the current generation has uh, uh, through the social media or otherwise the the, the, the Netflixes, uh, the hot stars of the world, uh, to 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 situations or uh, dramas that are seen, which, at least speaking, may or may not relate to the real world, and. In real life, everything goes together. The love, the work, the office, the kids, everything. So where the patience is required is do not have too much expectations of each other just because you are married. It's an important step that has happened, but that also brings in combined responsibilities to take it forward. Less expectations means longer married life. Ego. Ego has always been a problem. In fact, that reminds me of a very old movie of Iman, in which uh, Amitabh Bachchan and Jaya Bachchan were uh, starring, and uh, that, that's uh, one, one of the biggest hits of uh, 70s. So, ego continues to be uh, a key issue between couples, and it doesn't, the generations here, I think, do not matter. So, patience is required. And patience is really equal to staying, keeping your ego in control and understanding and appreciating 
that both partners have an equal status in marriage and one is not above the other at times one may be doing very well the other one is not doing well and vice versa so so maintaining that equilibrium in the marriage and not letting the other person's uh, you know good times make the other person feel bad that's that's i think uh, is is another a getaway which uh, really speaking ruins the marriages all said and done patience 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 and if that doesn't work and still your marriage is uh, facing situations it's always better to uh, seek professional help of uh, you know uh, psychiatrist psychologist uh, professionally trained uh, you know uh, counselors on marriage uh, one caveat here uh, and then on that uh, i feel there should be no compromise there is no place for violence in marriage there is no place for violence in marriage there is no place uh, for dowry in marriage uh, there is no place for harassment on account of dowry or uh, because of physical looks in marriage in such situation if that happens Divorce is the right and the only right option. Uh, in all the situations, patience, in my opinion, can work wonders. Thank you very much and good luck.